You there, I need a latte at exactly 137 degrees. Last time, it was completely wrong, and I expect better service today. Good morning. 137 degrees, you say? Let me give that a try for you. Make sure it's exactly 137. I can tell the difference. And I'll know if you get it wrong. Of course, ma'am. I'm doing my best to ensure it's just right for you. Here you are, one latte at 137 degrees. Please enjoy. This is not 137 degrees. It tastes off. How hard is it to get one simple order right? I'm really sorry, ma'am. I checked the temperature carefully. Perhaps I can make you another? No, I want to speak to your manager. Clearly. You're not trained properly. There's a customer who's unhappy with her order. She's asking for you. Hello, I'm Natalie, the manager. How can I assist you today? Your employee here completely failed to make my latte at 137. Degrees, I demand a refund and a new latte? Made correctly this time. Go ahead and start on her new latte. I'll handle this. We strive to make our customers happy, but we also stand by our employees' efforts. Let's see how the new latte turns out. This is still not right. I don't know why I bother coming here if you can't fulfill a simple request. I assure you, Steve followed the guidelines precisely. Coffee taste can be subjective, and we did our best to meet your specific request. Subjective. No, I want what I asked for. Or I'll make sure everyone knows about the incompetence here. I want your corporate number now. I'm sorry you feel that way. I can provide our feedback line, but I must ask you to lower your voice. We have other customers here. Can you believe this? They refuse to make my coffee right, and now they're trying to silence me. We all come here every morning without issue. They make great coffee. Maybe the problem isn't the coffee. You haven't heard the last of this. I'll be leaving a review. That's your right. We always appreciate feedback. Steve, thank you for your patience and effort. 